Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video on this part one, but it's really not named part one. Uh, but it'll be the same name, except for this will be called part two. So if you want to back up and watch that one or search that, I added a heart to the center of it. Pretty easy. So let's just move this one out of the way and let's set our nudge factor on something bigger than our shape, which is 18 inches. So we're going to make it 20. And then we're going to go to basic shapes or common shapes, depending on what version you have. And then hit P and put it in the center of the page. Select both these and go right here to back minus front and you get a hole. Take your smart fill tool, fill in that hole. And move it out of the way. I don't know what took so long. But then I'm going to left click, right click, make sure it's black and make sure it's something thicker than a hairline. And then open up your effects and contour docker. And we're going to set it to, to contour to the inside 0 0.001 in white. And look what it did. And then all you have to do is select it and nudge it back. And you have a 3D looking heart inside of that wheel. Now, if you want to take away the lines, you need to get away because these are lines, basically. You need to get here and left click or right click no line to put this back. <clears throat> Pretty cool effect, almost looks like it's floating. And you could do that with any shape. You know, it doesn't have to be a heart. Uh, you could do it with a circle or a square or a five-sided star because this is five-sided. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit, and thank you for watching.